Hey everybody, I just woke up. I'm very groggy. Um, I wanted to do a low, uh, live reaction to the Pokemon Direct. Uh, let me turn up this volume real quick. And uh, seems to be about 25 minutes long. I know it says the UK Pokemon Presents, but I don't know, man. I'm just clicking the first one I see. Uh, it shouldn't be in a different language or anything. Um... But anyway, let's hop into this. I, I apologize for sounding really groggy, but yes, I literally just woke up like 15 minutes ago or 10 minutes ago. Anyway, let's go. Uh, why am I not hearing anything? Yes, wonderful. Oh, it's muted somehow. Oh, God, there it is. Jesus. Okay. Hello, everyone. What the heck? I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27th, the... is Pokemon Day. This okay, is the day... Th this Pikachu wasn't really necessary. Like, what? That almost looks like, like, like an animatronic, but also looks kind of CGI with its blinking. ...date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. At the time, only 151 Pokemon had been discovered, but now that number has grown to over 1,000. Mm -hmm. To all you trainers around the world who have journeyed together with your Pokemon over the years, we are so thankful for your support. Oh, there's my alarm, hold on. In today's presentation, we will be bringing you all sorts of news about Pokemon. First, we would like to talk about this year's Pokemon World Championships, the first ever to be held in Japan. Okay. Mr. Chris Brown, take it away. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm so glad to join you again to talk about our annual Pokemon World Championships. This past year in London, more than 10,000 trainers from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience epic battles. Sadly, I wasn't. Thank you to all the trainers who made I, the I, London World Championships as our much as I'm into ever. Pokemon, and congratulations I've rarely again ever to our newest wanted to go to champions. a tournament. Now, I'd like to share with you all some details about our next event. The 2023 Pokemon World Championships will be held in Japan for the very first time. We look forward to trainers battling in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games the Pokemon Training Card Game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite from August 11th to 13th at the I'm Pacific glad they're at least Yokohama. keeping Unite relevant. For more than a decade, we have created special artwork to honor each location that makes the World Championship experience unique. Today, I am happy to share the key art for Yokohama for the very first time. Let's have a look. Uh huh. The World Championships is so special because of how our community from around the world comes together to play Pokemon. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't make it, be sure to catch all the action on our live broadcasts all weekend long. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Oh, yeah. We can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama later it's this fine. year. It's fine. I'm. Just not that Moving big on, into the. Let's uh, have a look at this video. Big into the thing, the tournament. Eh. Trading card game, classic. Now I do play the TCG. What in the world? I like the way they did the damage counters. Huh? Well, 
Why did you do that? Oh wait, that's right, his ability like changes all energy into fire type. Okay. Okay. Neat. So, is this like an exclusive, like, thing that goes together? Like, okay, so like a combo pack, and I keep turning down the video because holy shit, this music gets loud. Um, interesting. It's going to take a lot of people's fancy, but I, I unfortunately could not get my hands on any of the classic cards back in the day because when I got into the game... I think they were in base set two, or at least the second set after that, which was, um, or the second or third set, set. Um, and I only had like a handful of common cards. Uh, so neat. Uh, I did play the TCG for the Game Boy Color or Game, yeah. And they're releasing that soon ish. And like, this is a neat callback. Like, you know, this will allow people some people to actually keep up with the TCG on the Game Boy Color by making their own like old decks from you know old card decks from the previous but the the thing is the Game Boy Color games are also like they have their own exclusives as well and some of those cards are straight up busted even for even for classic standards but let's continue Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic is designed to be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last a lifetime. Created by the design firm Nendo, Creatures, and the Pokemon Company as a joint production. We'll be providing a sneak peek of the product at the Pokemon World Championships, so I hope you will all come check it out. Next, we'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. Venture? To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Oh. <sighs> Mr. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Uh... Hi, everyone. My name is Min Young Kim, and I oversee Netflix film and series for I don't Asia have Pacific. Netflix. Thank you for having and us here I've today. I've never really been interested in the shows. How we're Just bringing Pokemon that out and Netflix there. together for the first time this year. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around the if world. If you guys don't mind. And so today, we're pleased to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, The Pokemon Concierge. We have a Congratulations. group of experts here in Japan. Passing. I apologize. Thank you very much, Miss Kim. I don't have Netflix and do not intend Pokemon to get Netflix. Pokemon Concierge will be a new animated series brought to you by Netflix and Pokemon. Please stay tuned for this new series release. I can't stop looking at it. Now, it's it's really like weird that Pikachu about our game. But it's still well made. Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. I'm just tired of <laughs> I know Pikachu's like Hello. the mascot, but... I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Hello, Have you all been again. making good progress with your treasure hunt in the Paldea region? Today, we have updates on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. But first, please take a look at the latest updates about several of our other games. Yeah. The 5-on-5 five five strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. We've entered our second year of service and surpassed 100 million total downloads. More and more Pokemon have joined the fray, allowing for even more strategies and ways to play. Yeah, now add Vaporeon. <laughs> the legendary Pokemon Zacian is now joining Unite battles. <sighs> its Unite move is Sovereign Sword. It can cut a broad swath with its slash attack. It Interesting. can also charge its sword with Eos energy to unleash a stronger attack. Use these huge attacks to overwhelm your opponents. And don't miss out on special Hollowware. The adventure in Zashian's Wield event is now underway. Complete missions to receive rewards. 
you can also obtain Zashian's Unite license, so be sure to join in. There's also a boss rush event underway. Stand Neat. against formidable foes with your allies and earn rewards. I mean, Plus, to celebrate Pokemon Day, I was already planning to play this a little more. <laughs> and we're I don't really care about Zacian though. Way, way, way too overrated. The battles are going on the official Pokemon Unite social channels. The teams that win their way through each league will come That's still a kick-ass Dragonaut skin. Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur on March 18th and 19th. Look forward to Asia's greatest Unite battles, and we'll keep bringing you more to enjoy in Pokemon Unite in the future. Pokemon Shuffle. Or whatever it is. I, I, okay, so... The thing about Pokemon Shuffle, or whatever, is I liked the first iteration of this, and that was it. They, this is not the first time they've done this. Skip, skip, skip. Do not care. Sorry. Okay, what is this now? Also, I don't support this kind of game style where they, you have like energy and shit to deal with. I hope you're ready. Here we come! Those with the strongest conditions. Oh, is this just a master's win. thing? I'm not gonna let you win. Shine on. Shall we begin? Yeah. Ma Pokemon Mr. Masters is go. the game come that on. killed Pokemon Duel, and that's why I partially don't like it. I, I did wish. play Pokemon so Masters. To work together to become the strongest in all the world. The voice acting is nice. But like yeah, I'm gonna I've... be as strong as Lee. No, I'm gonna be even stronger. The um, yeah, Pokemon Masters. I've already played most of the hey, way through. I got Serena. Games. That was the only thing I. I think I'll cover you in the color of B. Between Serena and my player character actually being able to own a Nine Tails, I was like, cool. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna see how it plays out. So yes, I've given Masters a chance. I just um I want to be the one I just don't like how for one champion. it doesn't have PvP. Let's Two, get this started. Um the characters like the the thing it's trying to do with like all the costumes and stuff, just making the characters better over and over and over. Kinda not my thing. And yeah, just it's it's fine. It's a fine Ooh, game. I just don't have a look at this video. Have the consistency to stay up with it. What do we got? Good night. We must not chase. Wait. Pokemon Sleep is back. <laughs> The game we, or the thing we heard about like four years ago. <laughs> Two or three. Whatever. Good night. Oh yeah, sleeping with a slow bro. That's... I think bed would break. Those things are like, what, 100, 200 pounds? God, these mute. Hold on a minute. I actually don't know if this is copyrighted or whatever. Yeah, sleep. Wake up to a damn spiky thing in your. Oh, Totodile's cute. This is cute. At least they didn't totally forget about it. <laughs> but explain, what does it do? We know we've kept you all waiting, but at last, we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. 
Oh, still, still yeah, not here yet. Behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. To get a better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. Adventure, huh? On this About island, sleeping. You find great big Snorlax and Professor Neroli, who is researching Pokemon Sleep. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. If you leave your smartphone by your pillow when you go to bed, your sleep will be measured, recorded, and analyzed. Once that's done, it will be categorized into one of three sleep types. Dozing, snoozing, or slumbering. You know about that, I've not been getting a whole Pokemon lot of sleep, but sleep in the same way as I think this is what that's trying to do. Watch when I if I was to start playing this, it would just be like your sleep schedule. What are you doing? <laughs> Sleeping at 5 a.m., waking up at 12 1 1 p.m. What are you doing? Enjoy going to sleep and waking up each day as you research the sleep styles of Pokemon together with Snorlax. You put nine tails in this. I'm sold. By using the Pokemon Sleep app regularly, you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest rhythm. Pokemon Sleep will be available for iOS and Android devices later this year. Next, we'd like to introduce the device you just got a glimpse of, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Okay, come up with a better name. This is the Pokemon Go Plus Plus accessory. It is a new device that you can use with Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Go. Uh-huh. It's very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. Press the button when you are going to bed. Because we got to. And press that button once again when you wake up in the morning. We got, we got to. Just like that, your sleep data has been measured. There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Just stop. I don't Can want that lullabies? stupid thing. Shut. Shut. The more sleep you get together, even unlock Shut. Great balls and ultra balls as well at the press of a button. There are future plans to add. Okay, new cool. That I mean. That'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. At least Stay it's a little more portable than the other one. Well, I mean, think? there was nothing wrong with the Go the Plus, Pokemon the original. Go Plus Plus device should be um, available to purchase in July. And it's just the, Pokemon Go Plus the, the little Plus band the that came Go with game, mine is like you'll get so dirty to special research and I Pokemon can't get it Go out. That will allow you to encounter a Snorlax wearing a nightcap. <laughs> Look forward to more news to come about Pokemon Sleep and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. Come on. And next... We turn to the latest updates about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, the newest games in the Pokemon series, which were released in November last year. Yep. Wait, la wow, last year. Well, yeah, it's only been like six months. Four, whatever, four months. I'm sleepy, y'all. Whoa. What the... Huh. New Paradox Pokemon have been found in the Paldea region. It seems Walking Wake appears in Pokemon Scarlet, while the Iron heck? Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. You'll be able to catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terror Raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, on, as soon as preparations are complete. Oops. Catch them for your Walking Wake. Okay, Pokemon Water Dragon. Scarlet. That's not a bad type. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, as soon as preparations are complete. We hope you'll team up with family, friends, and not other trainers to take on this challenge. Not quite what I expected. The the water, the 
Suicune looking thing. Games that we'll... will also soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. <sighs> In Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts soon. from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. These gifts come with postcards. Uh huh. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game, and you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appear there will change based on the postcard's location data. Okay. And on the Pokemon Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimigool in that game. Try to collect 999 Gimigool coins to evolve Gimigool into Golden Go. We're also planning to begin Pokemon Home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet early this year. You could be a little more specific. You'll be able to bring roaming form Gimigool that you've caught in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. We hope you look forward to it. The um, the addition finally, of like, like the postcards is nice. Last video for today with you. What you got? Please have a look at this. <laughs> Is this what we've been waiting for? Okay, so I saw Chameco and like an apple. It's weird. Who? Huh? What is going on? Hidden treasure of Area Zero. What the heck? Part one, the teal mask. Okay. 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 Um DLC will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area 0. The Hidden Treasure of Area 0 will be released in two parts, with part 1, The Teal Mask, coming in fall 2023. Part 2, the Indigo Disc, will be distributed in winter 2023. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the save data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. Wait, huh? In Part 1, the Teal Mask, you'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as part of a school trip as your adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. And in Part 2, the Indigo Disc, You'll be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. Mm. During these adventures, you'll be able to encounter hey. some familiar Pokemon that you didn't see living. My in baby's Calvary. back. The legendary Pokemon Being that nine really appear in the hidden treasure of Area Zero are Ogre Pond, with its fearsome mask, and Terrapagos, resplendent in its glittering aura. Please look forward to Looks like it has every type on its shell, which is neat. As you discover the roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventures. 
the hidden treasure of Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation ends. Neat. As soon as you make your purchase, you'll be able to get the new uniform set and don some new outfits in your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. Yeah, thanks for taking away customization. Bonus, we've also prepared a serial code that will allow you to claim a special Hisuian Zor arc for your in-game team. All neat. Happy hour. We hope you enjoy these expanded adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. What did you think? As Good question. I don't know what to think. This is fine. Like again, like I'm not expecting the world from them. I'm not expecting half of the things that were speculated. Like c come on people. They're they're doing their own thing. I'm not even remotely disappointed. This is fine. It looks neat we're getting to probably entirely new maps so hey that's fine by me it's more content which is exactly what we're paying for although it may not be everybody's the content they want you know suck it up as we move forward we'll keep trying to find new ways to bring the joy of pokemon to you all thank you for tuning in Neat. All right. So I was happy to see Ninetales is back. It's the little things. Though interestingly, these four Pokemon in the back, I'm getting some Yokai vibes from this for some reason. Um Like this one here on the left, I can't, well, yeah, you can see my mouse. This one here on the left really feels like a yokai um, Pokemon, like it's, or this one too. Um, especially with the, like the, the weird, like, rope, I think. Yeah, I'm getting some heavy vibes from that. So we got like types of everything over here. Nice. Um... These two, um, of course, the obvious one is I'm kind of getting Majora's Mask vibes from this one. And this one over here, I don't know. The first thing that came to mind when I re like took a second look at this guy is something like the, uh, the turtles from... <laughs> no, the lizards. The lizards from um, Dark Souls. The You know, the ones. I can't think of them right now because I'm still sleepy. Um, either Dark Souls or whatever. Insert random gym lizard here that was like super hard to find um okay so very little was shown but very japanese inspired it looked i want to go like okay so these look like the three that were shown in the image it looks to be like a monkey a cat or bear and a ostrich looking thing but there was something else what made me second guess was the, these masks so it almost looks like we have like three entirely new Pokemon in this screen except for the pink one the pink one might be the bird hold on Okay, and the bottom left, the bottom right one is the, um, is the other one. The, uh, the mask, the actual mask person. But the, t the, the, the canine looking one and the blue one were not seen, as far as I know. The blue one might actually be the monkey. Because of the, uh, where the rope is located. Yeah. Okay. Um, interesting. There's a little bit to unpack, but 
it's uh it's fine i'm not i'm not upset at all like this is just it it is what it is you know like they they are a game company that does their own thing i'm not going to judge them for what they've made choices on and i'm looking forward to both getting pokemon home support which again no actual date on that appreciate it and you know, Nine Tails is confirmed for the DLC. I'm cool with that. Um, that means I could bring back, you know, my Alolan Nine Tails that I would use in VGC style situations, and uh, actually get to use Aurora Veil vale under the new, the new snow buff. Anyway, that's uh probably gonna be it for me because I have to start getting ready for work. Um, very cool. I'm I'm cool to you know happy to see this. Uh, I'll have this video up short shortly, and yeah, you guys have a good day. I I'll, I'll probably get some like video suggestions or something that might go in depth to this, but please, y'all need to quit speculating so much. It's setting up expectations that's um really harmful to your your outlook on Pokemon development. Like they are their own company chill out <laughs> like there may be implications but it's not just just don't get your hopes up like for all the wrong things you know take it easy have a good day